It's time to play with springs! Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the investigating springs practical from edexcel's forces and matter topic before we begin i just want to clarify what extension means extension is the change in length of a stretched object for example if a total length of a spring is five centimeters and we stretch it so its total length is eight centimeters its change in length is three centimeters we can say its extension is three centimeters now we've got that out of the way you will need a stand, two clamps, some bosses to attach the clamps to the stand, a ruler, some masses, some springs, and of course, some safety goggles. In this practical, we'll be investigating the extension caused by forces on two different springs. We have one column for our independent variable, force, that's what's doing the stretching, boing, and one column for the extension of the spring. I'll make a similar results table for the second spring afterwards. We'll be getting the data for one spring first, then repeating the procedure for the second spring. We begin by putting no mass, that is, no force, on the spring. So its extension is zero. To make things easier, I've set up my equipment so the bottom of the spring is at zero on my ruler. Whenever I extend the spring, I just read it directly off the ruler. The extension, that is. Every mass is 100 grams. We're actually increasing the force by one newton each time. So in short, I add some mass, write down the extension. Add some more mass, write down the extension. Add some more mass, write down the extension. And so on and so forth. At this moment, the physics underdog realized he needed a longer ruler. If you do this practically yourself, you should use one of these. And there we have it. My results are here. And I'll be referring to these in part two of this video, which I'll actually be doing this time. Stay tuned, thanks for watching, and click that subscribe button if you want to see more underdog physics. <laughs>